crypto market is hitting new highs look at the market cap it's about a trillion dollar and it's stabilizing and moving higher from there new highs especially for ether you look at ether it's 1635 right now and that shows that alts are going to explode soon if btc crosses the most recent high which you can see here which would be around 38500 then btc is also moving up just the difference is btc is slower compared to alts and even if that crosses that level next thing which you will be looking at is towards a continuation to 42k that's the previous high then at this time xrp is holding its support and moving averages are just below the price that means Moving averages are acting as a support as of now for XRP. So the price is showing it's at support and the price may continue higher. As BTC dominance is reducing as expected and it is falling way down, you can look at this bottom of the wick here. That is around 58. So if BTC is to go towards that, that level, of 58 percentage of dominance alls are going to rise and alls will have a lot more room to run so after which when you look at the altcoin market cap and compare it with btc we had a week here too so as we broke above this one as we discussed previously now that we are going to the upside with all the indicators showing you strength from the buyer's end this just looks like a re-accumulation area for altcoins. So that's to interpret it like it's way bullish. So the altcoin market is increasingly getting bullish and the market is showing a re-accumulation zone and it is breaking higher, right? Now, when alts are moving up, XRP did a move higher, right? But it was just the FOMO brought in during that euphoric run to the upside where you don't know where to buy where to enter where to sell you know your portfolio gets destroyed there are many who headed towards that direction who had that worst experience just last week but there are other guys who maintained their portfolio well enough that they took profit around 0.5 and then they got back in around 0.35 so now they have more xrp now it's not only when you do that you look at these opportunities popping up here you see dot 15 percent yesterday then you see ave going up then you look at the weekly run of these coins you will understand there is a lot more opportunity which you can actually see in this market and when you are ready to watch these understand these opportunities then you're going to take profits and once you take profits, you're going to move into different assets with that profit. And that's how you increase your portfolio. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. As we see a lot of technical indicators showing you that bullish nature of the asset class, you can also recognize that one area which is going to explode is payments. Now, this particular tweet from XRP Crypto Wolf highlights one stuff clearly. China's central bank is partnering with SWIFT on a joint venture. Now, you have to understand there is a lot of uncertainty in that itself because SWIFT is not a Chinese institution, right? So, that's going to give a lot more uncertainty than you think, but there are some green lights. You have to understand they already have been working on their digital currency and now they are kind of looking to tie it up with swift so how will it look like because swift is just a messaging platform where you don't have that ability to use digital assets with that frictionless effort right so as you continue further you understand there is a lot more different stuff to look at especially this particular tweet from echo Cell actually shows uniswap Fees are just getting absolutely ridiculous. This is his statement and I completely agree with that. 
Now, you all know Ether and how it actually behaves, right? When it is reaching its all-time highs, automatically, yes, the fee is so high. Now, Uniswap is another project on Ether. So, you know, you can't expect something else. So, whichever project you are looking at is being built on a proof of work like this will have that effort. Now, whenever they move upside, yes, for investors, it's cool, but the real utility of that is not that bit and that's why when you look at the payments and the improvement in the adoption rate shows you one direction there are some assets namely say xrp xlm xdc quant you know all of these are payments assets which are being created to secure that industry now when i say secure it's from some other assets which is being used for money laundering and others now yeah fiat currencies itself are being used for that now this shows the nature of a Ripple, the company, and how they are working with their partners. From their partners, they are working with other partners like central banks, government institutions, and corporate giants. Because as of now, you can understand the CBDCs are really one of the hot topic for central bankers. US Federal Reserve seeking manager to research central bank digital currency and stable coins. Now just one problem here is US is so slow. This research is being happening, or at least they are seeking for a new manager for this research. When countries like Bahamas, um, China are rolling out their central bank digital currency, so you know they are way behind this rally. As you see the movement in the market, crypto market, when you see, say, in the last seven days, XRP went 52 percentage and it is still holding there instead of coming all the way back towards 0 0.2, 0 0.25. That's bullish personally. Now, yes, you saw some euphoric run to the upside, which, you know, was just formal kind of kicking in saying, you know, that group is going to push the price way high. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. We're going to hit $10 and all. That just didn't happen, right? Why? Because the price moves within a support and resistance zone. Whether it's in a forever, daily or weekly, you can understand what you're looking at. And once you do understand these, that's when you are a good investor or a trader, depending upon your time horizon, right? Say so this is XRP on a forever chart and you are looking at it after that pump, we came back down, this level is acting as a support, say 0 0.34 to 0 0.35. But in the RSI, you're actually seeing a checkmate pattern. At the same time on the MACD, it's showing you it's still on the positive territory or the positive zone in the MACD. And then it's rounding towards a cross to the upside, which itself is bullish. Now, yes, do remember first time it bounces off. First time it bounces off and then it crosses. Maybe a couple of times it bounces and then cross. So the patience level is so much important if you are entering into a trade like this before a breakout. But that gives you more return on your investment. Now, yeah, when you look at the same on a longer time frame chart, you kind of see this. The MACD is still above the trend line. Now, remember previously we were discussing about this particular trend line in price. Now, previously we highlighted that the price was okay just the rsi was below this we retested we re got rejected but right now we went above this now if we retest this area as you can see here i'll zoom in a little bit we retest here in the rsi say around 50 52 in rsi and then bounce to the upside at the same time in the price we would be looking at something similar a bounce there now you go into a monthly chart you just delete all of these stuff and then look at this the closed month, which is Jan, is in green right now. Yeah, this month is still running. We don't know whether it will close to the downside or it will close to the upside. But one thing is for sure, last candle closed to the upside. That means we are still above that 50-day moving average on a monthly chart which is so bullish because see, previously here we closed way below around 0.22, which was below that moving average but after that we came right back into that trading range and closed above that so what is so significant about that many are really confused because at the same time when you're looking at the macd it is crossing to the upside after a long time if you actually measure that in uh, dates 
say we crossed here to the downside 2018 april and then it took all the way towards 2020 august to do this after that cross in august we got the actual pump the huge pump in november right so if you are looking at this it's like 800 days we were below that right now we are crossing to the upside so you understand something has changed and these change has to be taken not as granted but as an opportunity because guys are waiting here from three years to get an opportunity like this so those who are entering right now don't think okay this is just easy people are saying it's gonna go to a digit uh two digit or a three digit they are crazy think about it like this people are looking for an opportunity to accumulate reaccumulate and then go through this pump from a long time you see these patterns in the rsi on a monthly you will understand the price and the rsi is creating that rounded bottom pattern which usually breaks to the upside now if you have a confusion or a doubt about the same what you can do is now you can go into usd ether now i'll actually read all these that was for my patrons I was actually giving them instructions based on different charts. Now, if you go into different charts, you'll see me giving instructions to them. Anyway, now let's look at this. This is Ether's chart. Now, when you are looking Ether on a monthly, what do you see? You see something similar. And where was XRP? XRP was at the bottom, somewhere here, just near that moving average, crossing it to the upside, right? So did Ether have that stage? Yes, and from there, when the price was moving to the upside, how much did Ether move as of now? It's 350 percentage and it is above the move, a previous all-time high. Now, what is that huge stuff there? Because here the price is making that rounded bottom and at the same time, you are looking at the RSI giving you that indication that the price is true and the nature of the trend line which you are observing there is true. Now, I told you that the MACD crossed and it's significant look at this now if you really want to measure the percentage or the number of days say for example from here to here it's 700 days now ether crossed to the upside 180 days before xrp that means xrp is late right so it's like you know, not a small deal. You are talking about like three to four months so when uh, ether is hitting its all-time highs you can expect XRP to hit its all-time highs after three to four months. If you are comparing these charts, it's not wrong to say that because these indicators are directing you towards that, right? So now you actually go back in to that XRP chart, XRP USD pay, and then you look at this. Okay, so you just saw Ether, and from here, if that is to happen to XRP, from this price level to the all-time highs, it is like a whopping thousand percentage. But say for some, these thousand percentage fluctuations are nothing. That's 10x. Still, it's nothing. Why? Because they are looking at the long term market cycle. And you are not only looking at this stuff of 10x, you are looking for something more. Say, when we say percentages in a million, say, there are assets which has done that previously and there are assets which we are looking at this market cycle to go like 300,000 percentage, 500,000 percentage and all but many will be confused so I'll say just go into different charts, assets measure their fluctuations, you'll understand something just for an ex example, if I'm taking you guys here and if you measure this move of XVG which is Verge in the last market cycle if you get that bottom exactly here and then they align the top perfectly you can actually see that we did huge numbers right so when you are looking at these type of fluctuations you also have to understand we are not making these up this is pure technical and right now you look at these MACD RSI and you'll understand what it is doing. In a similar sense, you come back to XRP BTC pair to see what is the probability. We talked about all these previously. Now, you don't need nothing else to use as tools here. You just plot a horizontal line, a couple of them to understand the zone. 
where it was acting as a support and resistance previously. So here it was a support. Here it was acting as a resistance, the wick of that candle. Here again support. So that's the support resistance zone. Right now we went back into that. We bounced from there. It's not a small deal. Because right now, as I told you in XRP BTC pay, first time we bounce us off. We don't cross and go to the upside almost all the time. When a lot of people are involved in one asset, that's what happened. Say we crossed to the downside, we came back, retested, and then bounced here. First, we tried, we didn't cross to the downside, we bounced, right? So these bounces in XRP shows that the possibilities are high. So here you're getting same. So the next time when you cross to the upside, it's going to be bullish for XRP BTC pair too. So as of now, when you see the BTC dominance is going down and this possibility, for me, there is no rocket science in this. This is just basic understanding of the market if you know what you are looking at based on the supply and demand. Now, that's not just only for the XRP BTC pair. When you go into the XRP USD pair and look at these indicators, it's so easy to understand. Now, yeah, for some, it would be difficult to use a monthly chart. So for them, I would argue you can come into a three-day chart and look at these patterns. These patterns show you clearly that we were kind of, you know, inside this particular trading range for a long time and we just broke above that. Now, if you are a guy who waited a long time for this particular pattern to play out, then you're taking your profits out and all. Think you were inside this for a long time. Now you came out and you are getting out of the market. I'm seeing individuals running jumping ships, which we I can say, you know, I call them jumping monkeys, but some are offended with that. Now, I don't care what others think about this because that is the reality. When you see these on a three-day chart, which, you know, plays out most of the time for me, it looks like this is the possibility. You saw that arrow in the RSI. That is the direction. And if that is the direction, that means on the price, what should it actually do? Because here it's only showing you this resistance and we are restricted at that resistance. Now, you need a room to run. And if you look at that room to run, it would be something like this at least, right? So the next time we are looking at a run up from here, say a movement towards one, $1.2, $1.3, and almost all the time we get extended run in XRP. Even if you measure a percentage and say, okay, the possibility is towards $1, it'll go to 1.1, 1.2, and people will say, okay, you didn't pick the exact top. That is not that the game is to find an opportunity and enter if you are trading this market because you are entering not to get that exact top or bottom but to be certain that you will make money because there are a lot of guys who will put money in but it's hard for them to take it back with profit. Most of them will take it back with losses. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can jump into the Patreon. The link is given in the description. I post charts like these for majority of different assets and you have a lot of opportunities if you want to take benefit of that. Now, when we go through these kind of stuffs, you also have to understand these kind of fundamentals are really strong, showing Ripple and XRP is above the space all over the space they are covering the payments in a different manner that their partners they partnered with huge institutions now those institutions are making that difference in different geographical region think world is moving towards asia they are calling it asianization and if you are looking at the demographics you will understand what i'm saying is correct majority of other countries are having aging society so if you don't have young people, who will pay the taxes? So how will these pensioners be paid? You know, there is a lot of different stuff in the economics and the economical cycle itself, which you have to understand. And then look at this technology, where this technology is being built and how these technologies are being evolved, where these are being adopted, where money is flowing. You know, all of these identifies you that easy direction to understand this. Now, yes, this case is going on till 22nd. We don't have any clarity, but you have to really think like a real human being 
Previously, we were waiting for a Bitcoin ETF and we waited for a long, long time. First, it was, you know, extended. The date was moved. The date was moved. That was happening again and again. So I'm not sure whether that same stuff is going to happen here or not, but I definitely see a possibility for that. Now, when we see all these news and the technicals, fundamentals, you have to understand this is a wide range. Say Federal Reserve Payments pilots incorporates ripple partner volunteer technology so on one end they're using aci and the other end they're using volunteer you know all of these are so strong fundamental for an asset like xrp if you don't understand this it's going to be really hard now coin desk tweeted this one out digital finance platform uphold has acquired card issuer optimus card uk opening the door for the firm to roll out its own crypto enabled debit card soon so these are the future not only the card will actually move into a different technology in that side but you're moving away from your fiat you're moving into digital assets so central banks for them it is necessary to move into that see so rath afghanman highlighted this one showing finally a note on the ambitious effort to make Osaka a dig global digital exchange. So their connection with uh, their uh, German counterpart and the Switzerland counterpart where they you have you know, partnered in creating that network, that shows you that ability for them to move this way. Because now you can look at that connection from West to the East, you can see how it's going to play out because they are going to establish a new company under SBI Digital Asset Holding and it's like overseas securities exchange and all. Now, I just want to show you this from uh, Kevin Cage. He highlighted this in a tweet saying new Amazon CEO. Now look at that tweet back in 2018. The guy is presenting Amazon Quantum Ledger database. You have to really think about that. The description is fully managed ledger based with a central trust trusted authority. Now, it's not a decentralized platform. It will still be a centralized platform, but it's quantum technology. So if you are looking at frictionless, you know, all those characteristics of blockchain, you'll get 100 times better than that in a quantum computer. But I know majority would say, you know, no, no, this is nowhere near the reality. But you go to top class universities in the world, you'll see researchers doing work on this using the same technology. So the technology is available, just it's not domestically available for everyone. And it's not common because the cost is too high. But there will be a day that will happen. And it's not far ahead. You can really look at next six to eight years or nine years. It's kind of the time frame where governments are funding these researchers in different universities. I'm in a university and I can see those. So if you believe those, you have a couple of market cycle to make money in the blockchain assets, which we have talked right now. If you really want to make money in different, various different assets in this market cycle, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description. If you received value for your time spent here in the Scientific Investor channel, you can hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. If you would like to support the channel more, you can look at the PayPal or the XRP wallet address given in the description below. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.